Well, it's been a while since I've done this. Hi there. Uh, my name is Ash McClory Azamar, and today I'm bringing you the 15K Q&A. Um, I'd just like to thank you all for helping me reach 15,000 subscribers. Um, even though I haven't been uploading, uh, I feel like uh, we've been doing good. So, I got the questions behind me. I'm on the big screen, uh, just so I can see them properly. While I'm sitting here at this... Uh, I don't know, kind of interesting setup that I've got going here. Well, I thought I'd try something a little different than just the uh, the blue yeti. But yeah, um, let's uh, let's get into it. So, oh, and I'd like to mention, um, I'm sorry if this took so long to come out. I know I said last week, I think it was last week that I, I was coming out very soon, and um, and now it's the end of the week, so. <laughs> Uh, it's been a hectic week for me. Um, I had my driver's test. I'm a fully licensed driver in the state of Pennsylvania now. Great. Um, I had that. And the first thing I did with my license was I drove my mother to the hospital because she fell down the stairs and broke two of her ribs. So that was a good, good day. Um, so that was Wednesday. And then Thursday, I just had appointments at the Wazoo. Uh, so, yeah. Was that, one, was that Wednesday? No, that was... Let's get into the Q&A. So, the first question comes from... Um, I'm just going to call you Alex. You know, YouTube's... Okay. Big gripe with YouTube Studio right now. Um, when I look at comments on YouTube Studio, they don't show me usernames. They show me your handles. Um, when I look at the comments tab, I have to actually go into... The comment section of my YouTube video to see or the community post to see your username and I didn't do that so I'm gonna be going off handles today I'm very sorry if your handles different from your actual username um, I don't know why YouTube studio does it um, but it really makes me mad so uh, thank you Alex for the question um, if you can move to any country which one would you choose what language you like would you mm, let me try that again what language you, would you like to learn? What's your favorite trigger? Well, to answer your first question, um, I'm a big fan of uh, anime. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. Uh, I do like uh, some anime, not that much, though. Um, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. And so i got to say Japan. I mean, Japan's the default answer for someone like me, isn't it? Um, if not Japan, then probably England, because they have HP sauce. My beloved. Um, what language would you like to learn? Um, well, I'll say Japanese because um, it's a cool language. But probably for practicality, I'd probably say Spanish. Um, just out of practicality standpoint. Is this blowing my green screen around? I hope that's not affecting my chroma key. I've got the uh, ceiling fan on full blast because if I don't, I'll suffocate to death. It's so hot. It's so disgusting. Uh, what's your favorite trigger? Um, I'm really, really a big fan of unintentional ASMR. Um, so probably soft-spoken. Um, I do like whisper, uh, but it's got to be mixed in with soft-spoken. I, I usually don't go for purely whisper videos. Um, I'm, again, I'm sorry if, I, if it looks like I've been putting on weight. I have been. Um, it's not been fun. Next question from Cassie Scruffles. Will AI affect ASMR? And I actually really like this question, Cassie. I really, really do. I get this question a lot from friends and family. Um, not just for ASMR and YouTube, but um, my my college major, writing, uh, creative writing. Um, I get the question, well, do you think AI is going to replace you? This and that. My answer is always the same. My answer is not in my lifetime. Um, I think AI is so far from replacing humans, it's not even funny. Um, do I think it will at some point? Talk to me in 50 years. Because right now it's at the point, right now it's at a point where it's like, it looks like no, but it could be at a point where it looks like yes, or it could just get to the point where it does. Um, genuinely, uh, genuinely, uh, I don't think it's going to replace me in my lifetime or any, any creative, uh, been a person in a creative space. I don't think it's gonna replace you. You know, there was a study done where uh, this 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 the study was done where 
the study made uh, had ten pe had a uh, have a person write or ten people write ten job resumes, and then they had AI write ten job resumes, and they submitted all the resumes to one company, and or they might have done it with several companies, but each company got uh, all twenty resumes, and they were easily the company was easily able to pick out which of the 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 uh, resumes were AI generated, and the reason the reasons the company or company gave for this was it, AI just takes the life out of everything. It really does. I mean, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Does that not make sense? I mean, AI is not alive. I don't think, <laughs> unless some AI is like uh, just some guy sitting behind the screen, he's typing answers, which would be very annoying, wouldn't it? Either way, um, no, uh, not in my lifetime, anyways. And Sarah Palms, what about life brings you the most joy? So, what about life brings me the most joy? Um, that's a hard question to answer, honestly, because um, I, I'm so, I'm so. You know, I get so caught up in, uh, I didn't think I was going to be making a sad video today. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm so caught up in, like, things going on around me that I don't really, it feels like I don't really have time for joy anymore. Um, what I do to relax is watch ASMR videos, um, but I'll probably just play some games. Uh, I enjoy playing games with friends. Um, maybe just spending time with friends brings me the most joy. Spending time with friends in general. I don't get to do it often in person, but we do. I do play online with some friends. Um, so, genuinely, uh, I guess just spending time with friends and family as well, obviously. Uh, been, I'm saying genuinely a lot, aren't I? Eh. Next question from Osmosis Jones. What are your favorite ASMR triggers? I've already answered that one. I'm big on us. I've spoken. Um, what ASMR content do you think has been the most well received in your channel? So the easy answer is to say the fastest cranial nerve exam, which has over 1.4 million views. Thank you, by the way. Um, but you know, there's so many people watching the video that I that there's also like you know there's a the like to dislike ratio is is massive like the massive in favor of likes but there is quite a few dislikes um so in terms of a vid a, a type of video that i make that is just positivity all the way around it's probably the short film stuff oh my wrist just cracked i'm so sorry um probably the short film stuff like uh like the wild west doctor um or the house call, things like that. Um, those are usually well received by everybody that watches them. Not, not a ton of people watch them because the algorithm doesn't like those videos. But um, the Ghost Writer, another one. Those I feel like those are the most well received because uh, everybody seems to like them. The, the people that watch them do seem to really like them. Next question from Sierra. I think I'm saying your name. I've seen you in the comments before, Sierra. And I think I'm saying your name right. It's Sierra? Sierra? Either way. Uh, change three things about Pokemon Emerald, Leaf, Green, Air. I think Gen 3, you are correct. What would those be? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Well, the easy one is they bring back the day and night cycle. Day and night cycle in Gen 3. Um... I, I'm trying to think here. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Probably, I'd like a better rival in uh, Ruby and Sapphire in particular. Fire Red, Leaf Green. Uh, it's the same rival as Gen 1, obviously, because it's a Gen 1 remake. So, I wasn't a big fan of May in, uh, in Ruby and Sapphire. I just wasn't. Didn't seem too rival enough, you know. You know, Gen One, like Gary or, or Blue is just he's like he's just like he's just a total jerk, and that's what a rival really should be in those games. Um, but yeah, probably I'd like a better rival. May just wasn't it. Neither was Wally. Wally, was, I don't really like Wally at all. Um, 
And one more thing, one more thing. I can't sit on this forever. I'm gonna say, give us a shiny Pokemon again. Like, you know how, like, Gen 2 is like, um, no, no, scratch that, scratch, scratch that last one. I, 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 I actually saw this question, I answered it in my head before making this video, and I just remember what my third one was. Make it more of a sequel, right? So Gen 2, Gen 1 and the Gen 2, Gen 2 was, like, definitely a sequel, right? Like, Gen 2 was... Like, you can go back to the area in the first game. You can battle Red from the first game, your character from Red and Blue. Um, it, it was it was a sequel. But I feel like Gen 3 onward, it just felt like they were separate games. And they were just adding new storylines and everything. It didn't feel connected anymore. So I would I would make Gen 3 more of a sequel. That's what I would do. I was gonna say, if if I had if I got four, I would have said, give us a shiny blue one, like we got shiny Gyarados and uh, Gen two, like it's like a static shiny Pokemon because that was that was that was a pretty cool addition. Okay, we stayed on that question way too long. So you already asked a really good question. Um, <laughs> uh, Mango Rango uh, asks, "Will you drink clam juice ever again?" So this, oh boy, this question comes from one of my mods on Twitch, and uh, this is this goes back this. This uh this question stems from my whole thing on Twitch where I was uh very long time ago I did a stream where I drank clam juice for every new follower I got on Twitch and I that stuff hits you like a truck. That stuff is rancid. That stuff it's like seriously a punch in the face. It's it it hits your senses hard and it's really bad. And no, mango. I will not be eating. Or I will not be drinking any more clam juice. Um, although I did make a tweet years ago saying that if Wind Waker ever made it to the Switch, that I would drink chug an entire bottle of clam juice. Um, don't hold me to that because I don't know if my stomach could handle that. That was that was. It just a sip of clam juice was pure disgusting, absolutely awful. Next question from Chancellor. What's something you've always wanted to really... Mm, let me try that again. What's something you've really, always really wanted to try out? I can read. Something you often think, given the opportunity, you would do without hesitation. Example, fly a plane. Well, it definitely wouldn't be fly a plane, because no, I don't want to fly a plane. Uh, I'd be too scared to do that. I would like... I don't know. And probably I'd like the chance to. Uh, hmm. I'd like to. I, well, skydiving is the obvious answer here. But I feel like that's a boring answer, isn't it? That's not like it, that would be everybody's answer to this question. Oh, I'd like to try skydiving. Um. No, no, it's got to be something more creative than that. Um, I would, here's what, I would be a, a stunt, stunt dub, double in a movie. I would, I would do that without hesitation. Like, the chance to, like, the chance to be, like, a stunt guy. Because I feel like I could do that, and probably not well. They're probably not well enough for a movie, but I mean, I could do it. You know, I like, get to have the chance to be like like an extra in like a like a John Wick movie or something, and I get just like thrown off a porch or something. I've never seen any John Wick movie, but that was the first action movie that came to my head. But like, like someone picks me up and like throws me off a balcony, I would I I would do that. That'd be awesome. Another question from Chancellor. Do you have a favorite food? Um, this is a difficult question because I'm such a picky eater. Um, genuinely, probably... Okay. 
Here we go. Are you ready for this? I used to make these sandwiches that are absolutely amazing. So you take turkey. First, you get... I'll start off with the bread. It's got to be artisanal bread. You know, the Sara Lee artisanal bread. You, you know the one I'm talking about. Amazing bread. It's like a, th it's like a thick Italian. It's like super, super thick bread. But it's got to be that bread. Turkey. Two slices of American cheese. Balsamic vinegar. Stay with me now. And honey mustard. And then you put another piece of artisanal bread on top. That sandwich. If you've got if you've got the means, try it. You will not be disappointed. It's it's got to be the blend of the honey mustard and the balsamic vinegar. It's genuinely amazing. I got I I'm hungry. Thanks. Uh, another question from Chancellor. What's your favorite genre of sci-fi? It's got to be space. Space. Final Frontier. <laughs> I mean. Uh, there's there's one there's one um genre of sci-fi I don't like and I know, you, I know you didn't ask this but one genre of sci-fi I don't like is a uh, like real world like apocalypse sci-fi um Fallout shows an exception Fallout show was great um I haven't finished it yet so don't, no spoilers but um I do I have plans to I feel like I'm saying that a lot these days. Um, but real world apocalypse shows and movies, I can't stand them. Like uh, Netflix, Netflix's um, Leave the World Behind, I think is what it was called. That was, that movie like messed me up. That movie was like disturbing to me. I, if, if, I, I exercise caution when you watch a movie because if you're, if you're a person like, that like doesn't like that kind of thing like like real world apocalypse like this could really happen don't watch it because genuinely i, I, I that kept me up for a night I, I i'm not even joking i did not sleep well that night like it was bad that that kind of thing really messes me up um but space yes i love star wars star trek um you know i I didn't really like Star Trek um, until my dad introduced me to the original crew. And I love it. It's great. Um, you know, William Shatner, absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, uh, just space. It's got to be space. I haven't seen Interstellar, believe it or not. You know, I, I just haven't. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's worth seeing because I genuinely don't know next question from osmosis jones again what's your favorite type of asmr unintentional it's gotta be are you still doing wizio i love the fact that you brought this up because now i get the shameless self plug and not feel bad about it yes i am still doing wizio um in the description right down there uh, you'll find my wizio link and you can input f you can give me uh money for a custom ASMR video. So yes, I am still doing Wizio. Um, and uh, that's that's probably not going to go away. I know I'll daily uploads have, but I probably won't take away uh, Wizio, at least for a little bit. Um, if I do end up taking it away, it won't be for a while because that's money in my pocket. And we like that. What's your favorite type of ASMR content to make? It's gotta be, absolutely has to be the short film stuff. Stuff that really challenges my skills in like editing and cinematography and things like that. Things that challenge my skills. I really enjoy making those. Like the Wild West Doctor. That really challenged my editing skills. I really enjoyed making that. Um, I enjoyed making that. Um, the House Call. I don't know why my work's going on on my computer. That was weird. The house call. Um, really challenged my cinematography. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I want to also challenge my uh, editing skills as well. Not as much as Wild West Doctor, though. Um, Ghost Rider um, was not what I wanted it to be. I didn't challenge myself enough with that. Um, still, still cool. See, so yeah, the short film stuff. Gotta love it. Um, 
Next question from W Comp. Do you like to travel? Yes. Any good trips you've been on or places you like to go? Well, places I would like to go. Japan, obviously. Um, I'll I'll keep saying that. <laughs> um, but any good trips I've been on? Actually, I've got a trip coming up next month. Um, I go out to Colorado a lot because um, both my brother and my sister live out there. Um, actually, in two different parts of the state, we're, oddly enough. Um, they just both got jobs out there. But, yeah, um, I like to go to Colorado. Um... Beautiful state, by the way. Gorgeous state. Rocky Mountains, beautiful. Absolutely amazing, especially the area my sister's in. Man, just such such a beautiful state. And you know, I'm not much of a nature guy. I'm really, I'm really not. I don't, I'm not not big on hikes or anything like that. Uh, but I make an exception of Colorado sometimes. Sometimes, not often. Do I go out? Do I go out? I mean, last time I was in Colorado, I didn't really go outside. Because uh, they were they went on some pretty challenging hikes, my dad and my sister. But um, I'm not into challenging hikes. But I do I do like the occasional hike out there. Not here in Pennsylvania, God. But yeah, um, I wish I traveled more. Because I jam if I had the funds, I'd travel all over the place. Love to travel. You know, I'm. I remember the first time I I I I was on a flight, and I was just it flew like I was flying the plane. Um, I remember my first flight, I was, like, terrified going into it, because, like, oh, my God, this is going to be so scary, this and I got on the plane, it was nothing, it was so easy, and I, knock on wood, uh, I have not had a bad flight yet, uh, I will, uh, trust me, that I know it's coming, my, the, my comeuppance is, uh, on its way, but, uh, yeah, I haven't had a bad flight, I actually, I enjoy flying. Cassie Swaffle says, congratulations. I think this comment was on my initial uh, 15,000 announcement. But uh, thank you, Cassie Swaffle, for the congratulations. What does the future of this type of social media look like two years from now? Well, Cassie, I'll tell you. So, the future um, of this social media is pretty much the same. Uh, pretty much uh, this. It's like, uh, not changing much. Um, I feel like this question kind of ties in with the AI stuff uh, that you asked before, Cassie. It just, it. I don't think this is going to change at all. I mean, tomorrow YouTube could go under, doubt it. But YouTube could go under at any moment, right? They could go bankrupt and then we all uh, have jobs. But no. I don't think that's happening anytime soon, if at all. And... Uh, genuinely, um, you know, does that, I'm, I'm glad I brought that up, actually. You know, everyone, a lot of people ask me, Ash, what do you think about the TikTok ban, this and that? And I, and, you know, I say the same thing every time that I get that question. Um, the people that are living off of TikTok, or the people that are on TikTok, that are making their lives on TikTok, um, they're going to migrate. They'll find somewhere else. You know, social media influencers, they always, they always migrate. They are, they're always, they're always moving with the platforms. I and mean, look at Vine. Remember, remember, remember Vine? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Um, it wasn't fun. But a lot of people were getting to start on Vine. And they were making money on Vine. And then Vine went under. Vine got bought out or went bankrupt or whatever. And what had happened? They moved on to the next platform. A lot of them went to YouTube. Some went directly to Musical.ly, which became TikTok, I think. Musical.ly was... Before Musical.ly was TikTok, right? Either way. Um, they always migrate. They always do. I think I think Musical.ly became TikTok. I don't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> but yeah. Um, like, it just moved over. Like people just migrate, they always do. They they always find a they their inner audience will follow them. They will because if these these people that they make a name for themselves in social media, their audience is gonna follow them. Most of them, anyways. Some of them might not, but most of them are pretty dedicated. Like you, you're dedicated to me, right? No, yeah, I tried. 
Lil Greg asks, favorite video game from Pokemon? Uh, favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. Uh, Bulbasaur gets undeserved hate. I love Bulbasaur. Best Gen 1 starter. Changed my mind. Um, but favorite video game's gotta be The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I absolutely love it. I I like the Wii U, the Wii U version, Wind Waker HD. I like Wii U version, but there is a certain charm with the GameCube version that I just I can't get over. I love the GameCube version. Yeah, it's more difficult with the Triforce Quest and not having the fast sale, but there's just a charm to it. It's just it's it's beautiful. Also, I think I like the art style a little bit more. Obviously, the art style is the same, but I like all they did. All they did was uh, all they did in uh, um, Wind Waker HD was they just turned haze up. Like they just they they they, they I was blur, or whatever. They they just they they Photoshop, they put a Photoshop filter on it. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, they just put a Photoshop filter on it to make it look brighter. And honestly, I think it made it look a little uglier. Uh, still not a bad looking game at all, and it runs great. Uh, well, most parts of it do. The Wii U does struggle a little bit in the bigger cutscenes. But yeah, I love the Wind Waker. Wind Waker is great. Great game. Did I skip one? No, I didn't. Uh, next question from uh, A. Bozzy. What did you aspire to be when you. When you was just a young kid, and how far or close was it happening? So, I grew up on YouTube. Born in 2002, I grew up on YouTube. So this, this was what I aspired to be. Um, I don't, why is my eye watering now? This has been doing this all day. Um, I aspired to be a YouTuber, you know, I grew up on, like, you know, Smosh, things like that. You know, I just, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I just did. And... Um, I think we've accomplished something here. You and me. I think we have. Uh, I'm not making a living on YouTube, but, I mean, that, I mean, that, that, that sentiment, if, if that was, if that, if that was my goal, then I did not achieve it. But I just really wanted to be this, what I'm doing right now. And I'm happy to say that I'm doing that right now. Oh, and I wanted to be a writer, too. Um, of course. I got That dog is loud, isn't it? I don't even know if Mike's picking that up. Um, a writer, obviously, which is what I'm going to college for. Next question from Dirt Napper. A uh, fun fact about yourself, or maybe just some info of, on who you are as a person. A uh, fun fact about myself, I am now licensed to drive a car. It took me long enough. You know, actually, in the state of Pennsylvania, um, you can actually get a license when you're 16. There's certain requirements. You got to have to drive for 65 hours with a person that has a license. Um, but either way, um, I'm 22, and I just now got my license. And the reason for that is when I was 16 and trying to get my license, I was absolutely terrified behind the wheel. So scared. So I just put it off. And some info about who I am as a person. Well, my name is Ash McClure. I am aspiring to be a uh, some kind of author or writer in some kind. Um, I enjoy writing stories, which is why I'm aspiring to be that. And I enjoy doing this. Uh, so yeah, that's some info about me. Uh, next question. Uh, from Carlotta, what got you into ASMR? Do you have some ASMR you love watching? If you could travel any of the world, anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'll answer that one, Japan. Why? If you could learn any language, what would you learn? Why? Uh, I'd go to Japan because they have dedicated Pokemon stores there. That's awesome. If you learn any language, what would you learn? Why? Um, well, like I said, I'd like to learn Japan because it's cool. Japanese because it's cool. Um, Spanish for practicality or Spanish for practicality um, there's a lot of Spanish speakers in the, in the United States um, so probably just for practicality I'd like to speak that um, so many SMRs I love watching um, Australia SMR is my absolute favorite top of the line favorite um, he's coming back and he's coming back uh, 
little little by little he's coming back. Um, I'm very happy about that. Hope he posts something soon. Um, you know, watching watching old ones is a. I mean, I'm still falling asleep to him, so it doesn't matter. Um, some ASMR artists uh, I love watching. Um, some unintentional ASMR artists that I love watching. Um, ASMR Beauty uh, has some great videos. Um, Chili B ASMR, great stuff. Um, just that really that soft spoken, you know. It's just, it's really great. Um, of course, there's the, there's the big ones, JoJo the ASMR, you know, stuff like that. You know, just people, people like that. I like the big, I like the big, the big guys, you know, but I, I really like going for the little guy too. I don't know. Just, just a certain charm to, just a certain charm to getting, just of seeing someone uh, with a small channel like me, like me, you know, seeing that, that person with a small channel, there's, there's, there's some hidden gems in there. What got me into ASMR? I've saved this one for last because this is obviously the biggest answer. Um, so, so, what got me into ASMR was um, when I was very, very young, I used to watch toy unboxings. Um, and the, 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 the plastic, they would open, they'd open up the plastic and the plastic would give me a tingling sensation in the back of my head. I'm like, it's so weird. What is that? What is that? Like, oh my god. And then I would like um I just watch these toy unboxings and they only have it's like what is that? So this went on for several years. And finally I stumbled across this this video. It was unboxing some some technology thing. It was another unboxing video, but it had the, the four magic letters ASMR in the title. I'm like, that's a weird title. I click on the video, guys whispering instantly tangles. And I'm like, oh my god, what? There it is. This is amazing. So I, something compelled me to open up the description. So I opened up the description, and there it was. He explained what ASMR was, and it was, it was, it was, it was like, it was like, it was like I met my soulmate, pretty much. I was like, oh my god, this is what I've been experiencing all this time. It really is. This is it. So yeah. Um, that's how good what got me in ASMR. The rest is history. I mean, it's it's the rest. Of, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, this question took me a little bit to understand. So Ashton Hall asks, "What's it like growing up as a child in a school next door to a local fish factory?" I originally wasn't gonna answer this question because I'm like, "What is this guy talking about?" Um, but then I looked at a username and I'm like, "Oh, okay, I got it now." So, this is a joke about my City Skylines Twitch stream years ago. Um, so, my City Skylines Twitch stream, where I, uh, I was, I was, I was doing, I was playing the game, and I built like this, this playground, because the town, the the game's like, oh, you need a playground or something like that, and I'm like, okay, so I surrounded it. And it wasn't fish factory; it was coal factories. I surrounded the playground of coal factories, which caused like the highest pollution in the game or something. I, I, I don't remember, but it was really funny to just see this playground like just surrounded in coal factories. And, oh, and the library was there too. Yeah, the library was there. So th this 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 question took me a little bit to to understand what he was talking about, but I got Janelle Ashton Hall, and it was hell as I described it in the Twitch stream. It was hell growing up there. And last question, actually, from Edemo. Remember that gold or white or blue and black dress from back in 2012? That one viral. What color did you see? A uh, black and blue. Um, Edemo, you actually explained this on the Discord server. Uh, what? I forget the explanation, but you you explained it like what, like why people saw something different. I think it was because you. It's actually. Oh God, I forget your. It was. It was um. It's actually, I think your, your explanation was it was actually blue or black, but blue and black, but people saw it as white and gold because their minds were like blending the colors. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I'll put up your message in the green screen. Like, there it is. Wow. Isn't that look great? Uh, but yeah, uh, I saw black and blue. 
Um, that's what I saw. I remember that meme. That was a hot topic debate. I don't think it was 2012, though, because I think I was in high school when... It was around 2016, 2017. Because I was in, I, I was very early in my high school career when that when that was happening, which was 2016 or 2017. So, yeah, I remember that. That was... Oh, God. That was like a hot debate going on in like the cafeteria at school. It was bad. People were like fighting over like if it was white or gold or black or blue, which was stupid. Why would you fight over that? Um, but that is, in fact, the last question. So I would like to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sitting here and looking at me and my beautiful screen, green screen. Um, and I'd like to thank you all for 15,000 subscribers. And hopefully I'll have a video ready for you soon. Um, I've been kind of stalled on the one I was making because um, of school and everything else that's been going on. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And hopefully I will see you sooner rather than later.